Interested in moving to Augusta, Georgia, but you need someone to give you the truth? Well, today you're in luck because we're talking pros and cons and we're laying truth on you right now. Hi, I'm Kimberly Lahodney with the Georgia Coast Homes team and Keller Williams in Augusta, Georgia. I'm a realtor in Augusta and I have my license in Georgia and South Carolina and I absolutely love helping people make smart investments for their home purchases. Today, we're gonna lay truth on you and I can be truthful because just like you, my husband and I moved to the area with a little bit of information, but when we got here, boy, were our eyes open. And you know, you just need someone to tell you the truth, good, bad, and ugly. So here we go. So let's start with the cons because hey, there are some. Number one, the humidity. Honey, you're in the deep south, so there's no getting around this one. It gets sweaty down here. We have moderate temperatures, you know, like 80s and 90s in the summer, but once that humidity hits, you are suffering. So it's not a bad idea to invest in a pool, and if your hair is curly or wavy, you may wanna invest in product. You definitely may just wanna go ahead and cut it all off, or you can ditch the hair dryer six months out of the year and just go au natural. As you can see, I'm still trying to straighten my hair every day, but I'm losing an uphill battle. Number two, we have traffic, I'm sad to say. Not as bad as DC or New York or LA, but we definitely have it. During rush hour, we have traffic going into town and out of town because of Fort Gordon. And the really bad thoroughfares like Washington Road, you're gonna be sitting in traffic for a little while, you're gonna be cut off, and there's a really good chance that you might get into a fender bender. I did. So just watch out, be careful, take things slow, and have a little patience. Number three, we have bugs. You've probably heard that our state bird is the mosquito, and we have mosquitoes. How do we offset this? Well, we have screened in porches, we have bug zappers, and we call the pest guy who sprays for mosquitoes. We also have a charming little bug called the palmetto bug. In truth, this is just a nice Southern name for cockroach, and not just a small cockroach, a really big cockroach. And they find their way into your house. It's not because you're dirty. It's not because the seller of the house that you're looking at is dirty. They're just here. So again, we just call the inspector and we get that thing taken care of. They spray the house. And I would suggest doing it not just annually, but several times a year. And you'll have it all under control. Number four. Now this one might throw you off, but if you're familiar with the South, you know about Southern hospitality and you would think that that would be a pro. And in many cases it is. But just like the French, they are generous, they are hospitable, they are willing to tolerate quite a lot, but the one thing they won't tolerate is your ignorance. So if you're coming down here and you are judging Southern culture and you wanna live here, bless your heart is not a compliment. Bless your heart means, honey, you got a lot to learn. And you know, Really, in Augusta, Southern hospitality means come down here, appreciate everything that we have to offer, learn about Augusta, learn to love Augusta, and we will welcome you with open arms. Number five, this is a pro for some and a con for others. I'm gonna guess for most people this is gonna be a con, and that is everything is closed on Sunday. You're in the Bible Belt, so you're gonna see early closures in the afternoon and things that you wanna to go to closed on Sunday. And it's just a way to appreciate what God has given you. I mean, you are moving to the Bible Belt and everyone here takes the Sabbath pretty seriously. So if you wanna go somewhere like a museum or a really nice restaurant or a date night with your spouse, I would do it any day but Sunday. Take your Sunday to just focus on your family, Work on your house, love on your kids, and just enjoy a slower way of life. Number six, Masters Mania. Augusta is the home of the Masters Golf Tournament, 
and though this is a huge pro for those people who are golf fanatics, for everybody else, you need to know that the city just shuts down. Everything for that first full week in April is totally focused on golf. All the ads change, all the traffic changes, people rent their houses out, and a lot of people leave town. Schools make this easy because both public and private schools use the master's week for their spring break. So this is a great time to go take your spring break, have a great little vacation in Disney World or Hilton Head or wherever you like to spend your time, and just enjoy that this is a very unique element of living in Augusta. Finally, pros of living in Augusta. Number one, the cost of living. Home prices alone are 13% lower than the national average in Augusta. So you're talking a really nice size house for 115,000 to 250,000 on average. Gas prices are low, though they're even lower, just a little bit out of town. And your haircut is like $30 compared to a $65 haircut for women. Everything is cheaper. The sales price is high, but there is no income tax on your social security, so it's a great place to retire or to encourage your parents to retire. Number two, Augusta is business and small business friendly. It is so easy to get a small business loan here, and it's a really great place to find a job. We have a ton of manufacturing, medical, and military jobs available. It is the medical hub of the South. We have over 11 hospitals just in the region, and we have a ton of medical professionals that make their home here. Augusta's proximity to Atlanta is also seeing a bit of a filming boom. So if you're interested in increasing your SAG credentials, you could be a walk-on or an actor in a small movie or Netflix film. Number three, a slower way of life. Now, some of you might say this is a con, but some of you who are thinking about moving to the South, this is up your alley. The idea of sipping sweet tea on your front porch, watching your kids play, just sounds delicious, and it is. Now, they kind of force the slower pace on you. Everywhere here, it's about 35 to 40 miles per hour while driving, so relax, slow down, and just take it easy. Days seem longer and lazier, and in the summer with that summer heat, they certainly feel longer and lazier. But turn on your fan, enjoy your sweet tea, kick back and relax. Number five, brick houses and big front porches. Now, this may be a personal preference, but I love Southern architecture. I love those big porches. I love attention to detail. I love the brick houses and not just the brick facades. I'm talking about a full brick house where the back side of the house is as beautiful as the front side. I was missing it so much other places that I lived and to come here and see just real custom details in the older homes in Augusta, whether you're on the hill and you're dealing with all different kinds of architecture, neoclassical, Georgian, Italian, Spanish, I mean, you get it all, and it's so beautiful. People really have pride in how they decorate their homes and how they build their homes. It's a wonderful advantage to living in the South. Number six. So it was a con up in the cons, and now it's a pro down here. But if you are a golfer, this is probably the only place you'll ever wanna live. Because of the Masters, golf is everything here in Augusta. We don't just have Augusta National. We have the Augusta Country Club, which is the oldest country club in the area. And we have tons of reputable, really difficult, but fun golf courses throughout the region. And people love to golf. So if this is your thing, there's no other place for you to live. And because we're such a golf-friendly, golf-loving community, the other thing we absolutely love is our golf carts. Everybody has one, and it's a little weird. It takes a little getting used to. You'll see them at the grocery store in the parking lot. 
You'll share the road with a golf cart. You'll even see people picking up their kids from public school in their golf carts. But once you get a hang of it, you're gonna want one whether you're a golfer or not. And I know it sounds strange, but it's really fun. And I think you'll really enjoy it if you decide to get a golf cart of your own. Love learning about Augusta? Click here for our relocation guide. It's totally free. And feel free to call Georgia Coast Homes. We'd love to help you find your forever home here. And if you've enjoyed these videos, subscribe to our channel. A new one drops every Monday.